The next one we're going to look at is the hash code. So when I do u dot hash code, all you need to know about this is this gives um, the value returned as an integer produced by some formula that maps your object to an address in a hash table. So that's all you need to know. So we print this out and it uses a formula to produce a number. There really is not anything on the AP test uh, outside of we could then check. Let, let's just try something real quick. We'll do integer x equals um, u dot uh, hash code, which disappeared on me. So then we could check to see if x dot, I guess it won't let me do that. Um, it's what the, okay, I see what the book was saying. It's when we did the dot equals for if you, the letter u dot equals u, and it came back true, at that moment they both produced the same hash code as well. That's what the book's saying. So all you need to know is that when we produce this hash code, that it is a number in an instance that is belonging to that object. Because you can see it change it. Well, it changes every now and again because it was a little different. Yeah, it changes it based off a couple different parameters that you do not need to know. So there's hash code.